conference attended by CEOs from Silicon Valley in New York, Hollywood types from LA, and politicians and their staff from DC. It's like TED, but everyone is assigned to participate in panels or give a talk. The application asked for awards won and recognitions received, and as an example, listed the Nobel Prize. Really. I have no awards to speak of, or pedigree. No Goldman Sachs or Morgan Stanley on my business card. When the founder of the event introduced me to the audience at a talk I gave, the topic assigned to me, if I could do anything, he said, Kamal cannot keep still. Whether as an infantry soldier in the U.S. Army, or climbing the Himalayas, or walking across Spain on an ancient pilgrimage, he's always moving. He'd done his research. I don't remember the rest, but I remember his last line. I'm sure he'll have something interesting to share with us. I had exactly two minutes to stand on a podium and address an audience of scientists, Pentagon officials, politicians, and CEOs, all far more qualified than I to talk about pretty much anything. The speaker before me had been the youngest person to graduate from MIT. Full honors, of course. It's interesting what goes through your mind in moments like these. Time slows down, yes, but that's almost cliche. There's only the podium and the microphone. You step up. The audience grows blurry, as if out of focus. Clock starts. And then I knew what to do. I would offer something no one else could. My truth. Something I learned purely from my experience. Something that saved me. The audience came into focus. If I could do anything, I said into the microphone, I would share the secret of life with the world. Laughter from the audience. And I just figured it out a few months ago. For the next two minutes, I spoke about the previous summer when I'd been very sick, practically on bed rest. The company I'd built from scratch four years ago had failed. I'd just gone through a breakup, and a friend I loved suddenly died. To say I was depressed, I said, would have been a good day. I told him about the night I was up late, surfing Facebook, looking at photos of my friend who'd passed, and I was crying, miserable, missing her. I told him about waking up next morning, unwilling to take it anymore, the vow I made, and how it changed everything. Within days, I started to get better, physically, emotionally. But what surprised me was that life got better on its own. Within a month, my life had transformed, the only constant being the vow I'd made to myself and how I kept it. Afterward, and for the rest of the conference, people came up individually and told me how much what I shared meant to them. One woman told me that sitting in the audience, listening to me, she'd realized that this was the reason she came. All I'd done was share a truth I learned. A month later, a friend was going through a difficult time, so I quickly wrote of what I'd done that summer and sent it to him. It helped him a lot. Months after, I shared it in an email with James Altucher, a dear friend and my favorite blogger. He replied, offering to feature it as a guest post on his blog. Naturally, I refused. Truth be told, I panicked. Lots of my friends read his blog. I'm an entrepreneur in Silicon Valley. It's fine to write about startups. But this stuff? You have to, James wrote back. This is the only message that's important. I shared my fear with him. What would people think? His response? Something that I will never forget and will always be grateful for. I don't do a post now unless I'm worried about what people will think about me. So I struck a deal with him. I'd kept notes about what I'd learned, the practice, how I'd succeeded and failed. I would put those together in a book and send it over. If you liked it, I'd publish it. And that's how we ended up here. What is this about? Loving yourself. Same thing your mom told you. Same thing self-help books repeat enough times to be cliche. But there is a difference. It's not lip service. It's not a fire and forget type approach. It's something I learned from within myself, something I believe saved me. And more than that, the way I... Hello. Today, 
I'm going to show you how to get this audiobook for free in just a few minutes. In this video, I'll guide you step by step. It's really simple and fast. In just a few minutes, you'll be able to listen to your audiobook for free. So let's get started. Here are the steps you need to follow. Click on the link below the video to access the audiobook page. I want to emphasize that the method I'm showing you works with any book from the Amazon audiobook catalog offered by Audible. You will be redirected to an audiobook website where you can read the book's summary and listen to a free sample. He could read it in his own good time as many times as he wanted, and this would help him to absorb the message. To get the complete audiobook, click on Start for Free. Make sure the option Free with Trial is displayed on the page. Then, click on the Try Audible button. You will be redirected to the Amazon website. If you already have an Amazon account, log in. Otherwise, you can easily create an account. Now, if you don't have an Amazon account, here's how to create one. Click on the Create Your Amazon Account button at the bottom of the page. Fill in the fields of the form with your first name, last name, mobile phone number or email address, and password. Then click Continue to validate. You will receive a verification code at the email address you provided. Log in to that email account, copy the verification code, and paste it into the box requested by Amazon. Next, enter your phone number to receive a verification code via SMS. Insert this code into the box presented by Amazon and click the Create Your Amazon Account button. On the next page, Amazon will ask you to enter your credit card number. Don't worry, it won't be charged because it's the free trial period. If you decide to continue your subscription, you will be charged $14.95 per month after the free trial period. Click on Add Your Card. After adding your credit card, you will be redirected to this page asking for your personal information, such as first name, address, email, etc. Then click the Use This Address button. Once you have entered all the information requested by Amazon, you will finally arrive at this page. You will see that the book you have chosen is displayed, and all you have to do now is confirm it to listen to your audiobook. As you can see, the amount to be paid is $0. This first audiobook is completely free. Now click on the Try for Free button. Now your Audible account is created and you have access to your free audiobook. You can listen to the audiobook you chose directly on this Amazon page or on the Audible website. The most recent had been two years previously. I'd actually survived six months. I want to remind you once again that the method I've shown you here works with any book from the Amazon catalog audiobooks offered by Audible. Now, all you need to do is go to the Audible website, use your Amazon information to log in to your Audible account, email address and password, and once you're logged in, click on the library menu. There you will find your free book, and all you have to do is click Listen Now to start listening. I'm not ashamed to admit that I cried like a baby. You also have the option to download the Audible app which will make it easier and faster to listen to the audiobooks in your library. From this point on, you have two choices. The first choice is to keep your Audible subscription and agree to be charged $14.95 per month. This will give you a monthly credit that you can use to listen to or download any audiobook of your choice, regardless of its price. If you want to enjoy one audiobook per month regardless of its price, simply make use of your subscription. The second choice is to cancel your Audible account before the end of the 30-day period. This way, you won't be charged $14.95, and you can keep access to your free audiobook indefinitely. To cancel your account, go to your Audible account, hover over the menu where your first name is displayed, and click on the Account Details link. On the page that appears, click on the Cancel Membership link. Scroll down the page, then click on Continue to Cancel on the next page. Audible will ask you for the reason for your departure. You can provide the reason of your choice, and then at the bottom of the page, click the Continue Canceling button. In this step, 
Audible will make a final attempt to keep you as a customer by offering you several deals that are truly interesting for audiobook enthusiasts. You can choose one of these offers if you wish to continue the adventure with Audible. Otherwise, click on Confirm Cancellation. There you go. Your Audible subscription is cancelled, and you still have your free audiobook in your library without paying anything. Your credit card has not been charged. Take a look. Together, we will verify if the offered book is still available after canceling the subscription. To do this, click on the Library menu. I confirm that the book is still here, available in your account. You can listen to it whenever you want by clicking the Listen Now button and listen to it as many times as you wish. I was crying because I knew that I was condemned to be a smoker for life. Now, if you want to enjoy a free book and listen to it at any time, Click on the link below this video and follow the steps I just described. Thanks to this, you can listen to your book for free anytime and as many times as you want in your Audible account.